What's up, everybody? It's Jeff. I'm gonna do a lesson on doing the cockroach because it's fucking awesome. I love that song, so I'm gonna play a little bit to it and then I'll break it down for you. So. Okay, so, let me pause that. So that's like half the song right there probably, but it starts out on the ninth fret of the D string. So I use my ring finger on the ninth fret of the D string and then your first finger on the seventh fret of the G string. And you play nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, or no. So yeah, it's just nine seven. And then you move your first finger to the same the seventh fret of the same string your same string that you're uh ring fingers on and then you just do the same thing and then you play this power chord so it's yeah nine seven nine seven nine seven and then seventh fret on the E string and then it's this power chord right here what is that? It's A. So this is a B, B5 power chord. So first finger on the seventh fret of the E string, and then ring finger and pinky on the ninth and the ninth fret of the A and the D. So you just play that. Do it again. He does it four times. Whoa. Get the shit out of me. So it does that four times. And then you just leave your first finger on the seventh fret of the E string. And that's pretty much the vibe of the song right there. Is so what I'm doing there is I'm just playing the 7th fret of the E string and then 
pretty much muting all the rest of the strings with this finger. And so it's seventh fret on the E string, and then with your middle finger, seventh fret on the G string, and you pull off so it's seven zero, so it's seven seven on the E, seven zero on the G. So it's like that. And so the rhythm it goes does that same thing. And then you move your first finger down to the five and to play this A five power chord. And then Yes, that's it. So yeah, there's this B power chord, A, and then G. Which is seven nine nine, five seven seven. And three five five, so it goes yes. Seven seven. Like this. And then sometimes it'll do this. It'll do. But instead of doing the power chords, it goes. And then with your middle finger on the fifth fret of the E, and then four, it's this little major shape. So fifth on the E string and fourth fret on the A string. And you go. So what that is, is seven, seven, and then seven, the pull off thing. And then it was five, four, five, and then four, five on the uh, D and the A. So instead of A, E on the fourth and fifth fret, it just moves up to the uh, A and D string. So it goes. It does it twice, so it goes. Down to three, four on the A string, and then five on the E string. So the whole riff, I'll play that whole piece, it's kind of confusing, sorry, it goes this. can change that up by doing the uh, this you can do the power chords so you do the seven zero the riff with the power chords and then the riff with that part like this And the, the strumming pattern is like, it's like down, 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 up, down, down, down. So it's like. And then. You can also, the other cool part is the harmonics he does. So it's the same thing, seven, seven on the E string, and then instead of seven pull off on the G, like we've been doing this whole time, it's seven, seven, seven on the G, and then natural harmonic on the seventh fret of the G string. Oh no, it's, it's seven, seven E, and then harmonic, and then open. Or you can do the harmonic on the same on the G string still, seven and then nine.
there's a phaser on it. it sounded like it. Apparently not. I just turn on, but yeah. So that that's pretty much the whole song. And then you'll do some. Well, actually, no, it's not. That's the first part. So let me just play along to it. Sorry, this has been crazy. Long. So it goes like. So this is the next part. Pause it there. So that then it goes into the noise. And all that is is just seventh fret across harmonic. So let me pause it and teach the uh, octave chord part. So the part when it goes uh, Those are just octave chords. I've talked about this in a couple other lessons. I think all of them actually. But yeah, so it's an octave chord, which so you have you're muting the E string with the tip of your first finger. So your first finger is on the tenth fret of the A string, and then you're muting the E and the D string with just this finger by touching the tip of it, touching the E string with the tip to kill it, and then fretting and then touching the D with the back of the finger. So, so yeah, it's 10 on the A and 12 on the G. Oh, sorry, that was completely wrong. So actually it was um, 9 and 11. So it's 9, 11, 5, 7, 7, 9. Back to that, back to 5, 7. I can't even think right now. Sorry guys, so yeah, it's this, 9-11, so that was the rhythm really slow. So, yep, and then there's another, yeah, so you just mess around with those and that's, and at one point it will go. It'll go up a little bit like that, but I'm just going to play along to the rest of it and show you the harmonics. And you just screw around with that harmonics and it's awesome. So like... totally screwed up the end of that but hopefully that was good enough and you hopefully you can figure out the song from that i'll post a uh, a pretty good tab for it in the description too but all right thanks guys hopefully that helped